Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're going to be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today is going to be kind of a big day, I think. We're going to be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom, but we've got kind of a little change of, of game plan here. Um, in our last episode, we kind of finished up this whole little mini-series we've been doing in our playthrough of going through the Sky Islands and just a whole lot of exploration. And, uh, and it's been fun, and you know, we still have more to do in the skies, but we're gonna take a little break from the skies. We're gonna get kind of make things a little more exciting. Uh, not that that wasn't exciting, but we're gonna make things more exciting. Um, I really wanted to get down into the depths, and one of the things I talked about was finally getting down there and just unlocking that map, turning on all the light routes, getting the lights on down in the basement, making it a little less creepy, finding new enemies, finding new treasures, building up our zonite, all of that. And I was really excited. I knew that was gonna, we were going to be spending some time. And then I saw a comment, uh, and it was something that was brought up to me that I've not really, I haven't really heard before. A lot of you guys have assured me that if we move forward with the main quest, where there was a Zelda sighting at the castle, which we now know is not actually Zelda, that's actually Ganon. But there's, you know, a sighting there. Pura's like, hey, go to the castle, meet everybody. I've been totally avoiding that. And just because originally I just had flashbacks to Breath of the Wild. And originally I was worried that, uh, you know, okay, well, this feels very, like, if it was Breath of the Wild, this feels very like, okay, we're going to end the episode, uh, the playthrough here. This is, this is it. And you guys have assured me there's still a lot more main quest and game after that. That's just another uh, part of the story moving forward and I still decided well you know what let's just leave it there for now and let's just explore you know have some fun in Hyrule treat it like the playground it's meant to be treated as and uh, and just have ourselves some fun and it was brought up to me in the comments actually in a comment today as of the recording of this video uh, from uh, 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 the main channel that uh, if I was to go back to the main story uh, and there were no spoilers on what it was, but that I would actually get another ability or tool by moving forward in the main quest that could actually make exploration a little easier. And so with that uh, in my mind, I thought, well, before we dive into this probably fairly long, uh, you know, series of videos within the playthrough of going down in the depths and exploring and unlocking and seeing what's down there for real this time. Um, I, I thought, well, maybe having an extra tool that could help us with our exploration might actually be handy. Um, according to what I read in the comments, this is something that could help me with exploration. Perhaps it was in reference to the depths as well. Um, and I thought, well, you know what? Maybe it's time to shake things up and change the game plan for today. So even though our last episode ended by arriving in the depths, ready to explore, today we are going back to Lookout Landing and we are headed for the castle. And we are going to confront uh, Ganon Zelda and, and see what, what happens there. And I have a feeling it's gonna be a big progression in the story. So I'm ready, guys. I don't have a lot of this left. I've, I, you guys know, I am the biggest fan now of Madrinas. They are still not officially a sponsor. That's not because, that's just because, you know, we're still within that time it takes to get all these things done and I'm hoping that it works out. This is, I've already taken out the mocha. There's, the mocha's gone, the caramel is gone. All I had left was dark roast vanilla and cheesecake. And now this is the last of the vanilla I put. It was a little too much uh, for one cup, but not enough left over for the next cup. So I just put it all in here. So it's like super sweet and vanilla-y. And so I've got a brand new cold brew vanilla madrinas ready to go. And, uh, and I am ready to take on whatever the story here is going to bring us today. So 
that said, uh, I hope you're excited for this video. And if you are, do me a favor and click like on it. Also, if you're not already a subscriber to the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, and you know, I don't usually plug this because I never think of it, but that notification bell will at least let you know when we have new content coming out the moment we do. So make sure to check that out as well. Come hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you are enjoying what you're watching and you enjoy the, the nature of this channel and you want to support it, uh, I certainly wouldn't stop you. Uh, make sure to hop on over and check us out over at Patreon. The link for that is right here for $5 a month. You get early release content. For $10 a month, you get that plus exclusive content. But no matter what you sign up for, do make sure to hang out with us on Wednesday nights if you can make it. We do have a lot of fun with our Patreon exclusive live streams. Uh, special thanks going out to our current list of patrons. If you would like to join this amazing list of names, get shout outs in every single video, as well as just be a part of an amazing group of the community over there, uh, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. I'm ready for this, guys. I feel like my attachment to the characters of Link and Zelda, my unapologetic, unapologetic investment in my perception of there being a really close connection with them. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. I'm not gonna argue about it with anybody. That's just me. It's my playthrough. It's my game. I'm gonna have fun with it. Uh, I have a feeling that potentially some emotions are gonna be felt today. I have a feeling there's gonna be some big feels. I don't know what's in store. I just know that without knowing about the, the end of the Geoglyphs mission, without knowing what we know about Zelda as a dragon, if I hadn't known that already, I would be very, very like, what's gonna happen? We got it. Actually, I wouldn't have waited this long. I would have just chased down Zelda and gone for her at the castle. So, I am ready for this, and I hope you guys are too. Let's dive into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, guys, we are diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. I'm um, just getting this thing loaded back up. I actually wasn't, I uh, turned it off because earlier today I got a chance, uh, you know, privately off channel to uh, try the new Princess Peach game with my daughter Ellie, which was so much fun. Um, we ended up uh, playing just the demo. I haven't bought the game yet. Um, I do have a gift card still to Nintendo that was sent in by Christine. Uh, thank you, Christine, uh, for mailing that into the P.O. Box. And uh, here we go. I'm, I was actually thinking of maybe using the gift card for Peach. It was a cute game. We played it a little bit, and it was something that we could play together. And I really like that. I love finding games that Ellie and I can play together. I love playing video games with my kid. Um, all right. Uh, you know what? I was going to go to Lookout Landing. But, you know, and I've also to been told by a lot of you guys that I need to go talk to people here. That there's people at Lookout Landing that I need to talk to. I could go to the travel point a little north of this, closer to the castle. But you know, while we're if we're doing this, we're going all in today. And then when we're done with this mission and we have what we need, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go back to the depths. By the way, I apologize. I, I have uh, I, I hope that it doesn't happen today. Lately, we've had a few uh, videos with some microphone crackle and um i don't it's not the microphone um i actually think it may be the inner my interface or probably just needs some sort of update uh i've noticed if i reboot my computer i think the chances of that happening don't happen so um we're gonna hope that everything works out well now i have my my pants there uh, you know, my dumb looking pants. And I'm gonna change into these. There we go. Let's go make the rounds a little bit and go chat with some people. We just fast traveled here and we haven't spent time walking around and just talking with a few folks. I know a lot of you guys have said there's actually some 
possibly some main quests that I haven't uh, been able to progress, or not main quests, but side quests I haven't been able to progress because I haven't done this. Um, and these poor people, I have left them hanging because they're staring at Zelda. Is she, can you see her? And by her, I mean him. He's probably up there. Ganon's probably just taking his uh, his spot up there again. <laughs> You're gonna go to that high up place? I am, Slurgo. Well, you're friends with President Yunobo, so I know you'll be fine. Oh. Gagame? Gagam? Gagam? Gagam. Gaga, never mind. To think that she might be somewhere so dangerous. I'm frustrated with myself that I couldn't do anything. Well, you just stay there in that permanent salute and you'll be all right. See, this is what makes it feel like a, an end of game kind of level because you see all of these guys together. Is that our boy? No, that's Resco, okay. I simply cannot believe that she is truly there. I can only hope this is some terrible mistake. It is. Hi, Aja. Uh, is the princess really at Hyrule Castle when it's like that? Whatever the case may be, this is what I've been training for. When the time comes, I'll head out on the search too. Pura. She is always attached to her telescope and will not come down. Oh. Panoa, uh, is it true that Princess Zelda has been found? Numian. Numian, yeah, 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 Numian. Sorry, little Guado. No, Wado, Wado for you guys, there you go. Hey, what do you think of some kind of Jedi like that? Huh? That's my friend Numian. Hey, he's a Zora. I do not, I do not understand what is happening in the world. Yeah, neither do I right now, buddy. <clears throat> That's his response to my my impression. Yet I know this much: we need only to protect this place and trust in you and King Sidon. Oh, hi there. You look ready for battle. You're not even focused on the ah. castle. Come now. Everyone is so easily excited by the thrall of these rumors. Rest assured that King Sidon, Pyrrha, and the others will take good care of Zelda. Fish? No fish. Whoa! <gasps> Guys, this is what I was thinking. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You, this is one of the missions that I remember you guys said I need to go talk to someone at Lookout Landing. Just because of all these texts we've been uncovering. Ah. Such magnificent Zonai ruins right here in Lookout Landing. Can you believe it? Uh, Wurtsworth is handling the research involved with it, which means it must have the super rare ancient Hyrulean that hardly anyone comes across. Ah. This is my first real job with the Zonai survey team, so I'm going to put it uh, put in some serious work. Right now, I've got to keep my eyes on the prize. I need to focus on this stone tablet right here rather than wasting my time with rumors. Hey, Wurtsworth. Yeah. Ah, Link, you've come just in time. Have a look at this. Mm. The stone tablet that fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Hyrulean. If I can manage to translate the text, it may be key to understanding a moment in time with ancient Hyrule. Could be Ocarina of Time? I don't know. We're not there yet. Oh. I can translate this from ancient Hyrulean, but my notes are back at the research lab in Kakariko Village. So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. If that piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariko Village so I can share what I've translated so far. Oh. This inscription has tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to the distant past. I aim to unravel its mysteries, and the sooner I get started, the better. Okay, so we got to go back to Kakariko to talk with him. And I wonder if the pictures I've been taking will be good um, 
to to uh, like he'll he'll want to see those. Jambo. So it turned out this stone tablet is crucial for research. Here, I thought I'd sell it for some good money. Looks like I'll have to go the slow, boring route of saving up money over time for all those outfits I've been wanting. There's a rumor going around that Zelda appeared at Hyrule Castle. I mean, dude, she's right there. See where everybody's looking? It's, it's, it, dude, it's, it's right there. Just lift up your head. Um, he, right, He's going to get tech neck like that. Uh, I should probably get my stuff together. Pronto. <clears throat> Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Oh. Ah, so we meet again. Huh? You don't remember me, do you? Sorry, Cora. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, a little. We did fight for our lives together in Karakara Bazaar. I'd be a bit sad if you didn't remember. Speaking of remembering, I never got a chance to express my gratitude for your help back then. Oh, I guess I should get used to speaking your language while I'm out here. Huh? Ahem. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. What do you think? My pronunciation was spot on, wasn't it? I hope so. <laughs> I learned the phrase and practiced all the way here. Oh, whoops. I'm keeping you, aren't I? You're here because you heard the rumor, right? Get going then. It feels so epic with everybody just looking up there and you know. That's crazy. Link, at last you come talk to me by the, oh my gosh, that's so good. I just drank it and I started reading Drozer's comment and I was just like, oh my gosh. Mm. All right, that's got the last video. Link, at last you come talk to me. This whole time I never stopped keeping my eye out for you. Oh. By the way, Link, did you hear the rumor about Yes? They're saying she was spotted at, ca at the castle. We've been trying to spot her, but so far no luck. You might be able to see something with Pura's telescope though. I think we already did. Mm. No matter how hard you squint, she's not visible from here. Oh, Link! Oh, pardon me. We got word that the princess was spotted at Hyrule Castle. I was hoping I'd catch sight of her. But the castle's so far, I can't see much of anything. All right, guys. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Ah. Uh, this is the first time we've had a chance to talk to one another, but I know a lot about you already. We fought together at Karakara Bazaar. After all, I was impressed to hear that you are such close friends with our chief. And I'm grateful. We would have been in serious danger if not for your help. In fact, it would be fair to say that you saved Gerudo. That's probably obvious though. It's my first time being here in Central Hyrule. The weather here is so strange. Whoever heard of a place that's basically the same temperature in the afternoon and at night? Ah. You looking for Zelda, right? I heard a rumor that she was spotted at the oh. castle. My eyes are good enough that I could count the spikes on a Molduga, which we still haven't seen the Molduga in this, from a very, very safe distance. But even I couldn't see any sign of princess of the princess without using Pura's telescope. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I've mentioned this recently that I don't think, I think I from a distance I spotted a Lionel. I do remember that, but we didn't confront it. And uh, and then that was it. It was like we had the Lionel uh, that one time. I have not seen the Molduga yet. Guys, look at this. Hylian hood. Look at all the clothes. They're all right here. Ooh, Radiant. And she's got all this over here too. Cool. Sometimes we're, oh, sometimes we're living in. Carson, there you are. Did you hear? Is it really Zelda like everyone's saying? Man, if only I'd built some sort of contraption that could get you to a floating castle. Hint, maybe? Oh. 
uh, Bandaga. It's because of your efforts that Gerudo Town is back to normal. And now it's our turn to help you return your home to normal too. Oh. The person in charge here, Pura, said you, she saw Zelda. Stay focused on accomplishing your goals. We'll keep this place safe. Okay. Scorpus. Oh. I'm as overjoyed as the next Hylian that Princess Zelda was found, but how are we going to reach her? Okay. Is that... I haven't been down. I mean, I've been down here before, but... Ah. Link, welcome, welcome. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you'd like. We've done this Hi. before. Though you see before you... Oh, though you see before you a hole in the wall, fear not. This place is solid as a rock. Hey, Jaren. Hey, look who it is. I'd recognize that face anywhere. And any face I know is the face of a friend. <laughs> That's kind of how I am. Please, Link, uh, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours. But you should probably avoid this area in particular. Sometimes I think I hear a creepy voice coming from this hole. It almost sounds like a demon growling or something. What? No one else claims to hear it, but I certainly do. Between you and me, I kind of worry I awakened some demon when I busted up this wall. This isn't all her fault, is it? She was too loud. Did she wake Ganon up? Am I? And my even bigger worry is that the demon has it out for me now. Robbie, Grante, my beloved family, goodbye forever. Oh, my word. Huh. Okay. I did read this before. Maybe it's different now, but. Today is a Lucky Clover, in the Lucky Clover Gazette, mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. With Pura as their leader, the Zonai survey team begin, uh, begins thorough investigations uh, the world over. Huh, guess this paper is a little old. Okay. Hi, Dion. Uh... Link. Uh, you gotta hear me out. Bermano, the guy in charge of cooking, went to Hyrule Castle and never came back. Bermano, that, so, I grew up in New England. You guys know, if you guys who know me know that I, uh, you know, I lived in Maine most of my life. And we have a huge sandwich culture up there, sandwich and pizza culture. Um, and what you get a lot of are places that sound exactly like that. Like, oh, hey, I'm going to go order an Italian sandwich over at Bermano's. You know, like that's what you always get is that kind of thing. That would be a great name for a sandwich shop in Maine. Uh, thanks to him, I'm stuck here on fire duty. Oh. I act like I've never heard it. Oh, when I say Hyrule Castle, I don't mean somewhere dangerous like the chasm uh, near there or anything. Specifically, he went to Hyrule Castle's dining hall. Some folks investigating the chasms told him about some super special recipe in the dining hall, so he left, just like that. Well, we wouldn't do anything dangerous, so I'm not too worried about him. Okay, but he's the kind of person who loses track of time when he gets engrossed in things, so I do wonder when he'll be back. I'm the same way sometimes. Nothing new here. Hi. Hey, hey, hi, Frank, hi. Might you be heading out? Right when the right, right when the night monsters begin to rouse, brave of you as always. It would be complicating factor if you get lost during your travels. Please make sure to check your destination. Oh, oh, oh! I'm quite confident in my knowledge of Hyrule's people, uh, peoples and places. Oh, <laughs> he's like a few degrees off from Ray Romano. I've got three boys. 
Um, so if there's anything you're wondering about, it's various peoples or their towns and villages, please ask. Maybe later, we'll come back. I really wanna to get to the castle. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let's get, we, we got a bunch of sages' wills. Um, so let's, let's check it out. Four sages' wills. So let's do Yenobo for now. I will make your bond with Yenobo stronger. And that'll help us in a fight too. The strengthening vow of Yenobo, Sage of Fire. Your reinforced bond with Yenobo has increased his avatar's attack power. Wonderful. Go and bring peace to the world. So now we have an upgraded uh, Tulin and Yenobo. Uh, I love how his name is Nappin. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not going near chasms anymore. Nasty gloom, it's everywhere. Oh. oh, making everyone sick, making me sick. Glad I ate that yellow plant stuff from the gloom specialist. Any more gloom and I'd be canoeing down Old Death River. Ah. Old Death River, worked my tail off for Josha. Kid runs circles around Pura and Robbie. She loves research. Me, I'm sick to death of chasm research. At least I'm starting to feel better, but I think I'll lie low and... Sorry, I don't know why I'm in, I'm in, I am like in a mood today, like a fun mood, you know, like I just, it's fun doing voices. I am sorry if they're annoying or anything like that. I just, you hear the different voiceovers of them when they make their little nonsensical noises. Let's go talk with Josha and let's go talk with uh, Pura real quick. Oh. Hey, swordsman. Are you in? Uh, uh, are your investigations into the depths and the Yiga clan going well? I'm hard at work too, but I still don't have enough new. Uh, new aside from what I told you about the statues that seem to lead southwest. Okay. <laughs> at this point, the chasms and the statues are points of focus for the investigation. I'll continue gathering info about the depths. In the meantime, if you make any new discoveries, be sure to let me know, swordsman. <laughs> We uh we gotta give it all uh, or give it our all. My hope is that this investigation will give us a hint in the reach or in the search for Zelda. Okay, Pura, and then we're heading to the castle. Muzu. Huh. Huh. There is not much to say right now. Do not concern yourself with things here. Travel safely and return in one piece. Off rack. Uh, uh, you going to the castle? It seems super scary to me. <laughs> but you were strong enough to help President Yunobo. So I know you'll be fine. Ah, there she is, Bulliara. Oh. Oh. Are you using that sky tower <laughs> thing again? You seem to have some kind of death wish. Well, death wish or not, don't you go dying. The last thing anyone wants is to see Lady Riju all heartbroken. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Hearth. Oh, if I could, I'd fly you to Hyrule Castle myself, Link. But we have a responsibility to this place. We have to stay here and protect it. I don't actually agree with that logic. It seems like the important thing right now is for Link to get over to the castle. And with everyone who's here right now and no activity happening, kind of feel like Hearth would, would actually just help us more by just getting us up there. So go on and be the amazing swordsman we all love. Just don't get too carried away, huh? Oh. Okay. That looked like something. 
What was that? Hey, you. It's been a minute. I think you can come up with something using your abilities. The soldiers and I can't make our way over there, no matter what we do. I'm sorry, Linky. I'm always putting you through the ringer, huh? I'll wait here. You come on back with the princess, okay? Hmm. I'm feeling uneasy about all of this. Why did the princess appear so suddenly, and right now specifically? If she'd been in the castle the whole time, then why didn't she come out sooner? I can't make sense of it. Suppose I'll have to wait until I can ask her myself. By the way, is that the tunic the princess made? I'm glad to see it made its way back to you. It suits you. All right. If Zelda was up there right now, Ganon, I almost feel like he's just be he would he would know I'm looking at him and he'd be just staring at me like it's a showdown. Like, come come get some. Rematch. There's only one way to do this. Hey, there's some Rito flying in. Oh! There's Kilton. Or Colton. Oh, Spot. Where did you get off to? Oh, well, look who it is. Overheard my worrying, did you? Spot's my horse. Truth be told, he's missing. Ran away just before the stable was built. Well, he's always been a meek horse, so I can't imagine he's run off too far. Hmm. He's beautiful. Hmm. Just one look at his silky, gentle beige coat, and you'd know it was him. Of course, you'd recognize his unique gray dappling, too. <laughs> That's the reason I call him Spot in the first place. <laughs> Get it, Spot? Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. A horse like him, I bet he's someplace with a nice view, taking in the sights. That little sigh he did, like, oh, sounds like he just, like, Just wish I didn't have so much trouble climbing to high places these days. Huh? Sorry for prattling on there. We wouldn't have been able to build such a handsome mini stable without you and Carson. I know it's been a long time coming, but I'll work hard to make sure it was worth the wait. Need something from the mini stable? Yeah, we do. Which horse do you want to take out? Let's do this. It's time. Oh, and a sip of Madrinas tastes great. Thank you for waiting. This little one sure looks happy to go for a ride with you. That should about wrap things up. Please take care and have a safe trip. I heard the Zelda was sighted at Hyrule Castle, which has me all kinds of curious. But it's my job to care for the horses properly, so those who go out searching have healthy transport. I'll leave the business regarding Princess Zelda to everyone else. Okay. Easy boy's like, hurry up and get on me and quit with a voice. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, I forgot he's got this. But who knows? We might actually need it. And he's strong. He can handle it. Here we go, guys. Uh, adventure log. By the way, I do that so it's highlighted. Come on, buddy, let's go. The master, perfect timing, perfect timing, perfect timing. Uh, let's see what we got to fuse with. 
Um, yep, let's go. Let's go, Lizelfo Horn. Uh, just because that's the most powerful. I was thinking Diamond again, but. Will the sword glow? I am so curious if when we get to the castle, because I, I don't, we haven't been back to the castle. We haven't been back there since we got the master sword. Will the master sword double again? Like, will it, will it really get strong? I just put it on my shield. Why did I do that? I hit the wrong button. Okay, well, I got a few of these. Now we're gonna just attack him with black Lizelfo horns. There we go. So, will it automatically glow again, blue, once we get to the castle? Will it turn to 60 automatically and then it will be 60 plus the attachment I just put on there? All right. We got a powerful shield with an attachment. Let's go. Hey, easy boy. Let's do this. Ooh, shooting star out there. But that's not what we're doing right now. I'm like, oh, guys. What's it say? I want to examine it. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost the calamity. I got the feels again. <laughs> Anything that, that brings us back, right? And that was Zelda, and I'm not grabbing that flower. I can pick them somewhere else. That flower stays. <laughs> well... Um, easy boy, we just saw falling, de falling debris. <laughs> Guys, there is a calamity floating around here. There it is. Let's go. The question is, is it far enough? Save it. Let's do this. It's also turning into daytime, which is actually potentially helpful. You can see better. Here we go. We're gonna go all the way. We're coming, Zelda. Right to that front door. Watch, it's probably like I'm gonna get up there and I'm actually meant to go talk with somebody down there to start the mission or something. And that's okay. If we need to, we'll come back and do this again. But you know what? Something tells me that we're doing all right, just doing this. It begins. Now we have Ascend. Last time I was here was before I got a bunch of those abilities. Link. Link. Come to
to me. I am waiting. Waiting for you. Guys? That didn't sound like Zelda, did it? It it was Zelda's voice, but it was clearly Ganon being creepy about it. <laughs> okay. He wants to go over there. over there watch we'll get over there and then it's gonna be another location because I have a feeling Ganon Ganon wants revenge and he is absolutely out to play head games <laughs> I didn't uh, upgrade yet for that fall damage. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! It was a trap! Golly! All oh, that jumped me. Oh, well, these guys are in for it because I've got my armor, I've got my weapons, I've got my upgraded buddies. Let's do this. I got buffers. Oh, and you know what else I have? I have this. Oh, wait. Where is it? I missed out. Where? Um. Yeah, muddy buddies. Muddy buddy. Letting the other guys do it. Hang on, I gotta use. I wanna get you no bow. Oh, nice. All right, buddy. I'm done. Yeah, we got him. Can't tell, is the music changing or we're going to another phase now? Oh, shoot. Oh, what's that? I bet that's a good one. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's the one I, uh, I had, okay. Hey, we got a, a treasure chest here. Is this gonna be the item that we get that helps us? 
Nope, that's not it. But that's okay. All right. Where are we going next? In there. Okay. No fast travel, huh? Oh yeah, I can see. All right. There we go. There we go. I'm going up here because it'll be easier, I think. There. Back to the castle. Um, let's let's eat something. We took a couple bumps and bruises along the way. Um, I don't need any of those. The buffer is kind of cool, but... There we go. Really good point, too, by you guys. Is that... And I appreciate this encouragement. In the previous episode, I was kind of complaining about... I think it was Matt who might have said. It was either Matt or Regorith. I think it was Matt who mentioned in the comments... Uh, I know I make this community sound like there's like eight people in it, but um, the uh, uh, I had made mention when I was fighting the Gleok a couple episodes ago, the King Gleok, that uh, I was like, oh man, I'm wasting all my stuff, you know, that I worked hard to build, and it was I was encouraged, you know, like no, you're not. It's meant to be used. <laughs> Use that stuff. So I'm, that's all I'm gonna do. You can always cook more. See, I think I am gonna save my progress because we're it's uh oh man is he even that bugger isn't even in here is he let's go to the other side of the throne room. Oh, look at this. All right. Son of a gun. Zelda down there down below for sure down in the depths I wonder nope down here I bet wherever we are where are you Oh, guys, thanks. Take him 
out, guys. There we go. I think Unobo is going to be a nice... A nice addition here with the... Whew. You know, and the thing is, it's not even that we're just getting... Uh, whatever ability it's going to be. You know, those broadswords do look a little bit like the master sword. Should I... How, what do I have for a bow? Uh, oh, y'all, let's get rid of this soldier's bow. Yeah. And uh, the royal bow, that's nice. But look, this is even nicer. Oh yeah, we could definitely stand to get some replacements here. For sure. Claymore. Look around, that's what I need to do because we don't want to miss any more um, we're good. Oh, wait. Look at that one. Nice. Soldiers. I mean, some of these are nice, but it's like... I just want to check and make sure there's no treasure chests that we're missing. We're in the library. Man, I remember what this mission was like. Back in the final mission in Breath of the Wild. Where are we going? We're going that way. Deal, let's go, let's go. Ganon's gonna keep throwing these monster forces at us. That is fine. We know his games. Lies, deceit. Um, what the heck is that? Guys, I'm a little creeped out. What is that? Um. Hi there. I'll run you over. Okay, well. How many of those are there? Oh, it's a Gibdo. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be loud. I haven't seen the Gibdos in a while. That's awesome. Whoa, cool. Wow, Yunobo's very strong. Um, I, I was starting to say earlier, I'm gonna take a second just to say this. Um, now that we've upgraded Yunobo, it kind of reminds me a little bit, his rolling power, I didn't even think about this, but it reminds me of when we were playing um, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity and how much fun it was to be Daruk. And you would be Daruk and Daruk could just like snowball, just steamroll over all these people. And that's what it reminds me of. Mm. And you know Bo is Daruk's grandson, right? So he's already got it in the family, in the blood. All right, Zelda. Ganon, I mean. Where am I going? Whew, way down. Okay, that's fine. Oh, right in midair! That was a good one! Hey, 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 come here, I got some idea. There we go. Got it. Woo! Okay. We're getting it done. It really helps to have my friends hanging out with me here doing this. It, well, we're picking up a whole lot of stuff here too. Love it. I know there's a there's a lot of cool weapons, and honestly, 
before we got the master sword, I think I would have been like, oh, we got to pick up every single little thing, but I'm more interested in the monster parts because I, I do know we're going to be able to use some of those. I want to try. Come on down. Nope. Okay. Oh, he threw something at me. That's what it was. Yeah. Uh-oh, Master Sword's running low on energy, so... Ganon's presence this time is not affecting the sword in the same way. It's a little different this time. I was kind of wondering if maybe uh, it would charge up being back here at the castle. Nice headshot. We're coming, Zelda. And by Zelda, I mean you imposter. Oh man, they are coming out of the woodwork today. Let's go up. Take out those snipers. Ah, <laughs> uh, next. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Now I'm talking like our Gears of War 2 game uh, that we're playing right now, Gears of War. It's like, <laughs> yeah, let's get him. That's gonna make a mess. Oh, he's not there anymore. Oh. Oh no! I thought I would shoot it one more time. Oh, okay, that's done now too. That's okay, we're making room. Yep. Yep. There's another like like up there. Yes, please. Um, drop that one. Uh, let's do that one. Okay. Oh, missed an arrow. All right. Um, I think we're gonna have to take another deep dive. Let's take out that like, like. Like, like. No. Here. Oh, is it gonna go off the edge? Okay, it didn't go off the edge. Can I, hang on. Uh, where are you, where are you? Up here somewhere, there. Thank you. 
Uh oh. I just wanted to get those things. <laughs> yep. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yeah, get rid of the construct bow. Uh, okay, um, back to the good armor. And save. All right. Let's do this. Um. Where are you, Zelda? She's in there, somewhere. Potentially kind of in the depths a little bit? I don't know. Oh my. Guys, I think she's, we're getting closer. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Oh, shoot. I think we lost her again. She was, uh... Or maybe she is still down there. Let's get, like, right over her. Him. She's in the sanctum. Try that, I guess. Maybe we can get to the sanctum. Fast travel back up. I thought she was, it was showing that she was like below us. It's possible, I guess, she was above us. You know, I should have, what I should have done is should have looked at the map right away. Like, I should have gone to the map and changed my layer to see which, for all I know, she's on a sky island, but I don't think so. Okay, that's the level. She's on the same level we are. Oh, okay. We're heading over. We're heading over to fight evil Zelda. It's not Zelda. But speaking of Zelda, if you're out there, now's a good time to pop pop in and say hi. Ganon's using your body. Well, he's using his body. I wonder if I should just do what I did before. Man, those headshots really go somewhere, don't they? Nice. 
Okay, here we go. Up these stairs. Whoa. Underneath us. There. I am gonna go after this, before we go down to the depths, I'm just gonna go, I may be off camera, we'll see. If you guys wanna see it, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do it, but. I was thinking I should probably go and uh, get some arrows. Okay, she is below me. We gotta get to the sanctum. Sanctum is. I'll take that. Oh. We got stairs going down? Yes, we do. Ah! I find my way. I cannot find how to get over there. Um, she's on basement one. And if I didn't know better, it sure looks like... Oh wait, I just remembered you guys told me... I'm on first floor, so... You guys told me the brighter the colors, the more they are... But that looks like she might even be okay. Wait. So I got oh, if I drop down here to there. Doesn't look anything well, actually it looks like there might be an opening somewhere here to get in that room. So then get over here. Like that. <gasps> oh, poor thing. It's not really her, but I still look at her and say poor thing. Guys, there is a huge battle here. I'll tell you what, I, I didn't know better. Sure feels like the end, doesn't it? And I'm probably gonna have to fight um, another um, Ganon type of thing at the end of this too. Huh. 
Gleok Frosthorn, you. Oops. Oh, that's pretty. Ha ha ha, freeze him. Okay. stuff collect it all arrows okay now where is she he basement three we got some diving down to go do back up get there from here let's look at the map looks like I might be able to drop down if I go this way go oh, hey there excuse me Uh, Master Sword's back. Let's, I think, Master Sword with Diamond this time. Because, oh, wait. Black Hinox Horn now. We have that, too. That's going to be powerful. Ooh, but the Black Boss Begoblin Horn is even more. But the, the we have one of those already. Let's try one of these. And there we go. Okay, well, it's all right, not bad. I'm just gonna keep fighting. That's a, whatever, I'm gonna keep going through with what we had, just for the fun. Um. Okay, if I drop down here, I'm not gonna get there unless I go north a little bit. This part. Look at that! Oh, I hope I hope I'm not annoying everybody by uh, saving. I do love to save. I hate going all the way back. Um, who is it now? Oh dear Lord, is that? Oh, I thought that was a Lionel for a minute. You know what? Oh, shoot. Go ahead and eat. Um, oh. I like those because it's just using up the little stuff and you're not using the bit like I like to save if I've got like 10 plus hearts or whatever try to save it for when my hearts really go down There we go 
Ooh, silver moblin horn. These are all gonna be awesome fusing weapons. Or who knows, this might be something that we use to, um, you know, have to make something. Arrows. We're gonna be need a lot, needing a lot of arrows. Um, maybe we can get there from here? I don't know. Save it again. Uh, can we? I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but let's try fast travel. Not fast travel, ascension. And then maybe this will allow us to drop down. Ooh. Okay. Uh. It, it, it is basement three. So we need to kind of go down and in a little bit. I don't know if we can, well, can we do that from where we're at? Yeah, there's a staircase right there. Silly me. I hope I, I I'm trying to make good use of the map. I see you. When are you gonna just turn into Ganon? He's probably gonna end up going back up to the throne room finally. It's a big fight. Feel. Oh, that's it? Okay, so you hang out right here. We're gonna use you again. There you go, buddy. I think this is, I'm just trying to do it without getting too beat up. That didn't work that time. All right. Trying to just play it smart, guys. I don't want to just go running in there. Another, is that a good one? Do I have something that can really affect that? Nope, not like that. I probably gotta shoot it. Maybe I can use Yonobo. Okay, good. Use that, that's fine. Uh. These are good. Almost! Not really sure. What counteracts electricity? Water? 
Is it water? So let's do... Um... <laughs> oh, which one is it? Splash fruit. I'm gonna run out of arrows at this rate, so... Oh, it's thinking... All right, let's see. Oh, how do I take him out? But, hold up. Oh, shoot. Oh, just got to aim up. If I stay back, it seems to go away. Got him. Oh, no. Oh, oh, that's not fair. That's mean. Wow. I'm going to run out of arrows trying this. I'm not, I still don't understand the best way, if I'm being honest, um, fighting, um, I guess straight up this. Oh, I was right there. I guess I'm still not getting the best understanding. Oh, I did, I'm so slow. I am so incredibly slow at this. I'm gonna lose my shield, my uh, weapons. No, <laughs> I hate how, I, how bad I am. It's like hunting me down. Those things are nasty. Oh, I can't do it. I can't get it, guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I need air, I need specifically There it is. Got it. I was thinking I need air time, bullet time, but I don't know how to get that without going to the great lengths that you have to. Lee, I am waiting. Like rocket waiting. shield or whatever. Waiting it's like I was, it's too bad you can't just jump really quickly and then, that's really nice that there's some arrows. I kinda wish that, oops. I kind of wish that uh, this was just going to be arrows. How many of my arrows? How many do I have? 11. Oof. All right. Well, um, okay. What do I have? Do I need? No, stop with the foolishness here. Did I get that shield? I guess I did. I guess I got all that. Yep. Here we go. Another one. Um, I mean, I guess I could replace these, but they're already fused and I just want to use them. So. Link, all right, Link, Link, come find me. Back to the first floor. That is the throne room. 
That's back in the throne room, so... Let's do this. I think this is the showdown. The fact that there was a, n another beckoning, kind of a taunt from Ganon. Oh, shoot. Get me out of here. Um, I would assume that means that, uh, look at that. Got right up there. Nice. Great having all this stamina now. Aha! Showdown time. Um, yeah, I was gonna say with that last beckoning, I kind of figured like, okay, this is it. Uh, here we go. We are gonna fight probably whatever that Ganon was. I can't remember. There was a some sort of version of Ganon that we had to fight when we went down into uh, the Deku tree. So I'm thinking that that's what this is gonna be like. And I'm really excited. I'm gonna, I am gonna eat some tidbits here. Okay, good, sneaky, we can be sneaky. And the thing is, I have all those buffers we could use too, but we'll see what we need. Um, oh, showdown time, guys. Oh, man. Okay. So far, I haven't gotten the feels. I didn't, you know, I, I'm, I thought that maybe Ganon, with his hatred of Link, would also be knowing what he knows might use Zelda more um, to mess with Link's mind, play the head games, not just come chase me around the castle and as I disappear, but like say things that play on Link's emotions, you know? And the thing is, listen, whether you agree with me or not, or wanna play along with me or not on the whole romance thing, you cannot deny that, that no matter what, whether you are a Zelda Link romance person or whether you just think uh, that what they have is different than that, no matter what, there is a bond between these two, a connection between these two that that is what I'm talking about. So no matter what, I was, I'm kind of expecting Ganon to play head games, you know, in his mind and, and play on those emotions and play on those feelings, but, um, oh. Uh, yeah, we're good. Um, oh, Master Sword is back, right? And there we go. It's time. Guys, familiar territory, right? Look, there's the Triforce up there. At last. I have been waiting for you to arrive. Now, Link. There is something here I want to show you. See, the real Zelda would be running up and embracing him at this point. Oh. <laughs> Have we ever seen the castle look this good? What do you think? Hyrule Castle, perfect and glorious. Don't Doesn't give in, Link. Memories? Memories of our time here. Yep. Now we're getting... We're really taking every detail. Here comes Psycho moment. Here comes After Ganon. All, this place... ...will be the last thing you ever see. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Not gonna fool us, mister. How is it that you survived my attack? 
It must have been that wretched arm. <laughs> Playing mind games, we know that. Yeah, there you go. This is the real Phantom Ganon. Yep. All right. Well, I don't know what we're gonna need to fight this guy, but uh, let's go. Oh crap! There's multiples. Have that little headshot, huh? Okay, uh, he's, he packs a punch. You gotta be careful with him. Wait, where are you going? How about a headshot? How about you? Oh, another headshot. Oh! Hey, you're, you're tough. Gloom sword, god. Oh, can we get multiple gloom swords? I'm so glad I'm upgraded. Okay. Oh, thank goodness for these guys that help me. Okay. Hey, another good thing is I'm not really losing a ton of health from these guys. And that's, that might be, for the record, this so far is not. Not as bad as uh, King Gleok, for sure. Okay. We got more. Oh, they're bigger now, aren't they? Okay, okay. And we got Gloom. And we don't have any more arrows? Um. Oh, we're gonna play this way now. That's right. And I'm just going back. Sounds like uh, something like Ganon and his friends. They all they're all hanging out. And they're like, "Hey, what are you doing tonight?" Oh man, I was thinking we should go like hang out, get some drinks at Gloom Club, and uh, you know we're gonna go ahead and you know meet some like dark witchy chicks and stuff. Yeah. You know. Okay, that's fine. I see you. Yeah, that's right. I flurried on Ganon. Even though it didn't do anything. Oh. I'm so incredibly thankful. Again, for... Guys, I am so incredibly thankful uh, that we have health, uh, armor, good armor. I really hope my microphone hasn't been crackling. Here we go. One more mind game. 
It seems there is more to you than the power Rauru has gifted. Yeah, you're right. That was a master sword whipping but your butt. Not much more. Oh gosh, are we in phase two? Phase three? Yes! Yes! You're not messing with our friends. How is this not the end? Carry the secret stones. Just what is this thing? You do not recognize me. Perhaps there are limits to the knowledge the secret stones impart. You stand before Ganondorf. The foolish action of your ancestors served only to delay my ascension. Allow me to show you, show you, the world that was and will be again when I have been restored. Ooh. I wonder if he's like the mummy, the mummy movies where he has to, he has to keep getting back into, like, this shape. What the heck? Oh man. Oh, there's the Lionels. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors. Zelda flew over right now and pooped on his head. Was that the Demon King we were warned about? It all really happened? This is Dyer. The Demon King. The man who nearly destroyed the world. Ganondorf. With his return, everyone's in danger. Oh, this isn't good. If that really was him, oh, we're in real trouble. Hold on. He must not be at his full strength. Otherwise, why flee instead of finishing us off? We should return to Lookout Landing and decide what to do next. Okay. Link, you should come too. Yep. Another heart. Oh, I'm so glad because this is actually one of my favorite little musical ditties in the entire thing, and you only get to hear it once in a while. Whoa, memories have been added. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes this. Oh, it doesn't have the other thing. I thought it was going to be that sound it always makes when you get the floating heart sound, like after beating a, a blight or whatever. Um... Demon King's bow. It can't carry anymore. Okay. Actually, we can get rid of these. And, oh, you know what worked really well? Was, um... Another Demon King's bow. Now, question... I need to read about this. A ma the higher your maximum number of hearts, the more its attack power increases. <gasps> okay, I was wondering if this was going to end up being like um, 
the 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 gloom sword but it's not because it's 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 not a gloom sword it's it's the demon king's bow so the higher your maximum hearts the more it's attack power that's cool now the gloom sword though is something we can't um oops Let's see. Nope. We don't need that. I'm taking the gloom sword. Now. Gradually wear down the body of the wielder. Yeah, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop it and I'm gonna fuse it again. Um, because that worked awesome when we did that before. Okay. Yep. Nope, I don't want that. Nope, I don't want that. Drop the gloom sword. We'll do a couple of them because um, they just they work really well with parrying, and you could just use that as an attack, which was cool. I'm keeping the Lionel bow, that's a good one. This one I'll get rid of. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Now, let's read about the Gloom Club. Its gloom will gradually wear down, okay. That's really too bad, because it looks like it's pretty awesome and can do some awesome things. Gloom Spear. Again, wears down the body. Gloom spear. Gloom sword. Gloom bow. Um, can I have my arrow back? Thanks. Wow, we got so many of those. Oh, oops, my bad. There. Oops, wrong thing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's go Master Sword. And yeah, Demon King Bow. Okay. What else am I missing? Um, what did I get for exploration? I did the, you know what? It's, I probably have to go back. I bet you one of the inventors is gonna give me something. Let's save it, because that was awesome. Um, I was sitting here thinking like, what, what was the ability I got in that, but it's possible that I need to go back to Lookout Landing to actually get it. Man, I would not have been able to do this without the help of my friends. Easy boy! Still didn't get a chance to see Tulin do too much.
Hey, buddy. Let's go. Easy, boy. You are never going to believe what just happened. It was crazy. Just what we thought. Ganon was there as really his pure self. Not as the calamity, but as a, a Zelda wannabe. No. As Ganondorf. Can Easy Boy go in here? No, he can't. Oh, that was rude. Close the door on him. All right, buddy, we'll take the back entrance. Oh, goodness. She's got obstacles everywhere. There you go. Take the road. boy right up the stairs no all right stay here buddy love you okay here we go oh wow hey read you I'm glad whoa I am glad to see you're safe lady read you of course you needn't always worry about me Boliara King Sidon, are you hurt? Ha ha ha, of course not. Uh, not a single scratch was marred, or has marred these fans. You're protecting Lookout Landing and not just lazing around, right? Oh, we're doing a good job. Yeah, we're only lazy sometimes. Where are the other ones? Oh. Oh. oh! You grow bigger while I've been away, haven't you? Uh. Oh, I'll stop treating me like some little kid! Mm. Those injuries on your wings, this is a sign of the times. You're clear, you've clearly been doing more than your fair share, haven't you, Tulin? Maybe Pure is gonna give me something now, a new invention. Looks like it was pretty tough. So how did it go? Cutscene? Hmm. I see, so to summarize, there's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the legend of the imprisoning war. Hmm. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. Apparently nobody wants to listen to Link. Uh, and the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. Hmm. Hmm. So then that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here. Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Hmm. Yes, we should consider that to be the case. Bizarre as it sounds, it all seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Hmm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Oh, but Princess Zelda is in the past. 
We can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. I keep changing the voice for these guys. We also don't know anything about the Demon King, other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. Kind of wish he sounded more like Daruk did, a little more like, hey, 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 buddy. Uh, what do we do? Mm -hmm. hmm. Based on what you each have told me, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Oh. Right you are! We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act! Hmm. hmm. But without any leads? Hmm. Oh, wait! You said the six sages were the with King Raru when we fought against the Demon King during the imprisoning war, right? Wind. Fire. <laughs> I keep changing their voices. Water. Oh my word, they're turning into the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Lightning. Either that or was it um, Captain Planet? Didn't they all have like all the different elements of Earth? Hmm. Brains. No. Uh, in time, that was the princess. Ooh! Wow. I see. Huh? What is it? What do you see? Huh? That's it! There was one more sage back then. Big reveal. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well worth our while to search. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. They're as good as a place as any to start. If we just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the sage. Ah. All right, we have a plan. Let's split up the work. I'll split up the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. Yep. I like her. I like Pura. She's fun. Wow. Find the fifth sage. There's a fifth sage. And you know what? That fifth sage probably has a power that I'm going to be able to use. You told Pura about the imposter and how... Uh, Ganondorf is trying to rise again. Hyrule Castle remains a devastated place and continues to float above the ground. Didn't find Zelda on the Sky Island. Yep. During the ancient imprisoning war, it was Princess Zelda and the five other sages who fought with King Raru against the Demon King. Um, Pura told you that in order to find the fifth sage, you should investigate ruins from the Age of Legends. The sages have their own regions covered, leaving you to search elsewhere. We have to protect Hyrule no matter what. Princess Zelda wanted that. But the Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with. So for now, we need to search for the fifth sage. Whoa. That's a big reveal, guys. A big reveal reveal following the upheaval i mobilized the zonai survey t survey team and investigated ruins connected to the zonai but so far we found nothing about the fifth sage there must be some clue hiding out there that we haven't yet found i can feel it mm -hmm. 
So King Raru and the six sages fought the Demon King in the Imprisoning War. Princess Zelda was one of those people, the Sage of Time. There are the five sages we know of, Wind, Fire, Water, Lightning, and Time. That leaves one more. There must be a clue to all of this somewhere. I think it's worth revisiting the ruins from the Age of Legends to see what we can find. Wow. Battling the mighty Demon King starts with finding the fifth sage. There must be some hidden clue we are yet to find. The ruins from the Age of Legends. Where is that? Is that... Ruins from the Age of Legends. They're not talking about these ruins, are they? The Forgotten Temple? No. Unless it's up in the sky, because... Maybe back at the Temple of Time. I can't remember. Because in that conversation, didn't they kind of act like they've been there before? Like, you need to go back and look in that? I don't know. Hmm. Hidden clues. <gasps> yep. Zelda was the Sage of Time. Hmm. The Ruins from the Age of Legends. Okay. So I'm assuming since I wasn't given another ability that I'm assuming that that ability is more than likely um Probably the ability that was mentioned in the comments, if I continued pursuing the main quest, I would get ability that's gonna make exploration easier, just another thing to have. And it makes me think, is this sage ability something that is gonna be used like the other? The other Are the other guys all just like for fighting, but this other one could help with exploration? I don't know. But now, now I feel like that's what we need to do next. We need to go find the sixth sage. This is cool, this is big. What a level, and I'm so thankful that I decided to actually move forward in the story. Um, that was neat, I love, it was big and epic. And honestly, like there was a moment there where, you know, because we had to keep fighting a new, a new set of enemies every single time, like a new monster horde every time, and then you get to the end, and then you see the big, you know, the Ganondorf shows up, and he's like right above Zelda, you know, and then there was the turn, but then all the friends show up, and they come in to help him in the end, you know, um, we've talked about that, like those guys are all gonna come in the epic ending, so if I, if I hadn't known better from you guys telling me that that wasn't the end, I would have up to, you know, right after it, I would have thought like, oh my gosh, I really am in the final battle. And, uh, and we got through that though. I was very thankful that like I've upgraded Link as much as I have with the heart and with the uh, armor that we have and with the master sword and all of that. I was kind of hoping the master sword would have glowed blue, you know, like it did before, you know, but I guess that was just for the, um, the calamity when it was around the calamity. But I mean, it still had all that red floaty calamity all around it too, you know? So that's why I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool if the sword, you know, for old time's sake, turned blue. And maybe it will when we finally face Ganondorf for real. But, um, wow, that was, that was cool. Anyway, yeah, I was really glad that I upgraded because whenever they did get a, a, a hit on Link, Link didn't really go down much in health. So that really was awesome. And I know now that we can also continue increasing that armor 
and try to get up to you know whatever full armor rating is so um which i mean is pretty high for us right now we're in the 50s guys i'm just rambling right now but that was really cool i mean i really enjoyed playing that level and uh and seeing more story um seeing the friends come together um you know they're all they all kind of think you know zelda's back in time and i guess she is but she's not you know there is a zelda back in time but that zelda has now existed through the ages as a light dragon you know that's she's been helping us out over and over and over again flying over us she kind of keeps her eye out on link in the in the land and her kingdom and she, uh, you know, and we've gotten, uh, we've been able to upgrade our, our armor because of her. And she took care of the Master Sword so we could have that back. Um, you know, so she is there. She is there presently with us. She's just not there the way we want her to be there. Like, you know, all cutesy and all that. Um, but um, that was awesome. That was really awesome. And uh, you guys keep telling me not to give up hope you know, on that situation. So I'm not going to. I know there's some people who are like, you know, don't hold your breath, but maybe that's just because they knew the ending was coming a long ways away and I would I would suffocate if I if I held my breath for the awesome ending. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, that is gonna be the end of this episode. Well, okay, my friends, that is going to do it for this episode and that was a lot of fun. And I was so glad I am so glad that I decided to pursue some story today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And I think I kind of needed that, you know? We're, we're gonna still go explore the depths. We're still gonna go back in the skies. We're still gonna do all the side quests, you know, and stuff. But it, it is nice once in a while to dip back into the mainline story and, you know, get kind of a pick-me-up in the story. It was really fun. Um, and now I, I am, I hate to switch it up on everybody for everybody that was waiting for me to get into the depths, but, I'm kind of thinking I might need to go after that sage because I'm assuming that whatever ability I get from that sage is the ability that you guys were talking about in the comments. Um, and that'll help with exploration after. And then we're just gonna pause from the story and uh, and, and we're gonna take out the depths and finish the skies and, and do all of that. But um, guys, that is gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching this. And thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to hang out with me while I play a game. <laughs> and it's so, I mean, it, it really is fun to know I'm not doing this alone. You know, I, I might be sitting in this room alone, uh, but I got you guys with me and I know that. And I thank you guys so much for your investment of your time and your energy and your comments and your kindness thank you for all of it here um guys i can't wait to to play more of this game genuinely i cannot wait to go find that sage but that is the end of this episode uh do me a favor and drop a like on this video and uh, also if you're one of those people who've been watching this series and you have not hit subscribe yet i know there's a lot of you out there for some reason you love watching youtubers and not subscribing to them but i'm telling you if you really love me and i know this sounds like manipulation but i'm an only child and I'm, which means i was really good at that as a kid and I'm telling you, uh, hit that subscribe button because that really would help the channel that you're watching. Also, make sure to hang out with us at Discord if you'd like to hang out with the community. Uh, and the link for that is down below. And if you'd like to dive in deeper with me, you can do that by hopping on over to the Patreon page by going to this link right here. Guys, again, I love you all. I just wish you the best. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Be safe, be kind, be loving. And uh, I hope a lot of love comes your way too. I will talk to you the next time we play this, but until then, take it easy. Oh,